So the advantages of CAS, the take home message here is a high precision of bony cuts, the better alignment of implants, no need for direct and repeated visualization of many anatomical landmarks because all your landmarks are already fed into the computer. You don't have to go back and retract and see the bony landmarks because it's all in the computer. The computer, you want to go back two steps, you can easily go back two, three steps without having to uh, expose your uh, soft tissues again. Less soft, less soft tissue dissection again. This is the point I'm stressing because again, everything is fed into the computer. You've already given the important bony landmarks and early rehabilitation, they do extremely well. Next slide. Of course, we have to talk about the disadvantages as well. It takes about an extra 20 to 30 minutes and till such time that you are well trained with navigation. Once you are trained with navigation, then your operating time comes less. It's more costly, you have to pay the extra 5 to 10,000 rupees more for, for the use of the navigation, depending upon which hospital you are using it in. And more investment to the hospital, of course the hospital has to buy the equipment and technical failure, you can ask me what happens if the computer fails, but if the computer fails then you've got to dismantle the whole thing and do it as you, know, you would normally do it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much sir. This lecture is sponsored by Apollo Hospitals. Uh, now uh, audience, if you have any doubt please. Uh, the right lecture, I yes. want to know what uh, you include the process of the operation table or do you have any because of surgery? Yes. The size of the process, the different different processes. How do you choose how to actual process? How do I choose which processes to use? Yeah. Size and the yeah. <coughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, depends upon the jigs. See, for example, if you take Johnson Johnson debut. Johnson Johnson Debut has got uh, implant specific software. So which means that if you use that, you that software itself will tell you based on the bony cuts what size to use. Now if you, do, if you don't have the implant specific software, in order to tell you the size of the implant, say for example you are using Zimmer or you are using uh, some other company's prosthesis like Smith & Nebu, then after the bony cuts you have, an, you have a sizing jig. And the sizing jig will then guide you as to what that, what size you need to use. So depending upon what software you use when you do the replacement. Sir, you rightly said about the benefit is more than the risk. Yes. So how you offer offers it can cost more than just ten thousand rupees. So yes. How expensive is the very fast and the computer price? How expensive is not only Apollo, but what are any other hospitals? No, no, no. Uh, other hospital can also afford. There are companies which, uh, like for example, if you take a, uh, sorry, if you take Esquilab for example. They have the computer navigation equipment themselves that they can give it to you on a loaner basis. So you have to have a contract on it. It has to come from the hospital saying that they will do so, so many cases. So yes, they are now available on a rental basis as well. And there are, I have seen surgeons in Bombay who just carry the whole thing in a big suitcase in the car and the dickey of the car. And um, so uh, the, he has a person that just comes, assembles it, and then he does it, and then he dismantles it, puts it in the suitcase, and goes. Because he, he, he there are surgeons who operate in multiple hospitals. So yes, the, all those, all that has come into come, come in now. The other thing is about the, uh, I mean the nephropathy. How, what is the proper use? What is the proportion of patients coming to you for you to test and have established nephropathy? Because very often they have used an analysis. Yes. That's true. I mean, uh, it's all. <laughs> I, 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 maybe in my practice, probably about three or four so far. That's all. But uh, I, I'm sure they're all very, uh, very well scrutinized before they come. Um, there's no real stop gap between using analgesics 6 and coming to knee replacement. The only real stop gap that you have is arthroscopic washout or the keyhole surgery, wherein you give a washout. You have so many artificial joint fluids like silvis, cortisone and things like that. That could really give you probably maximum a year. So once it goes beyond a stage, I think it's much better to get it. And now with these latest uh, implants like Oxenium, um, it really helps you to get knee replacements with a life of about 20 to 25 years. So um, that is really a very important step uh, which, is, which, is, which is going the long way. Yeah. Before the treatment, somebody comes to very often the people with knee pain, they come to you. What is your favorite uh, NSAID? This kind of topical, or oral, and what will you? No, I go for topical. I don't give oral. I don't give more than about two weeks. It's mainly topical, physiotherapy, braces, 
and a uh, lot of uh, exercises, walk, the usual uh, thing, and of course, arthroscopic washout. And now there's also the thing about the uni, unicondylar knee replacement or a uni knee, that means replacing just the medial compartment, replacing just the lateral compartment. There is also coming, but unfortunately in India the cost is the same as a broken knee. So people say, if I can pay the same cost, why get half a knee and get the whole? What's the drug of choice? What is your favorite NSAID? I just, I don't really go for, I just use ice gel or so, no, usual, usual thing. There's no real choices. Thank you. Thank you very much.